recently put out a poll for what I should do next, and a Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 review was the most recommended. So, guys, theory number three is here. Well, I had this theory in my head, and I already had a, a video prepared for it, and I'm gonna give it to you guys so you have something while you guys wait for the chapter two review don't worry let's get back to me become a map pad again i don't know where i'm getting these epiphanies from but i have the uh, third one and guess what this one has bobby bear hug so like i said in the first theory video i ever made was about how i thought the new character that is now ollie was gonna be bobby bear hug but throughout the game there are hints that it could lead to Bobby Bear Hug being Ollie. You see, during the game, you can find cutouts of the smiling critters, and they have voice songs that play along with them. Now, this is a whole little thing in itself, but in order to figure out about Ollie and Bobby, I gotta tell you what the uh, I believe the cutouts are. And most people have already thought about this, but I think the cutouts all give hints to how the smiling critters died. So, I'm gonna speedrun how each of them died. Bo Butterfin, you can hear what sounds like unhinged <laughs> laughter and screaming. I think he died from uh, catnaps de gas. He inhaled too much. Kicking chicken. I believe he tried to leave the factory and died probably to Huggy Wuggy. Or Is that the exit? What? Dog Day. We know what happened to him. Hoppy Hopscotch. He tried to leave Playcare via jumping through the top of the Sky Dome, but he died to fall damage. Now, there are three smiling critters that have voice lines that don't end in static. And those are Crafty Corn, Picky Piggy, and Bobby Bear Hug. Now, Picky Piggy seemed to become a scavenger feeding off of all the other dead smiling critters and likely died to starvation because I believe Crafty Corn became a hunter for her food or just became a murderer because she seemed to have a thirst for blood. And probably died trying to hunt something or died of starvation as well. Uh, Piggy Piggy also talks about Flay oh, Unicorn, so they might have had a showdown. And Piggy Piggy ended up winning. But that wasn't enough food for her, so she died. But Bobby Bear Hug. Her lines don't indicate anything like that at all. Take a listen. I've been lost a long time. They can hear in these voice lines, there is no evidence that she died or anything. She's in hiding, probably too scared to show her face around here because of what happened. That's also probably why Dog Day thought he was the last of the smiling critters because Bobby was in hiding. And so Dog Day presumed that she died because he hadn't seen her in a while. So also, um, if you're still watching and enjoying this, you should definitely like and subscribe for uh, more content like this and other games. Come your thoughts on chapter three, and if you agree with these, yeah, support would really help. Anyway, let's so I think there are some lines that Ollie says that can be hinted to this being Bobby. They know about catnap, catnap, or sorry, the orphan being turned into catnap, and Bobby would know this in information about catnap because they were probably also an orphan in play care, just like him, and also transformed into a toy. If they were just an orphan, I don't think they would know about the experiments and what's going on in the factory. And also, it's been like 10 years since the factory closed. I don't think they would sound like a little kid. This would also explain the kitty voice and his knowledge about everything that's going on. Also, he knows about the prototype since that is the main threat in the facility. I don't think just any old child would know the backstory of him. And also, I don't think just any old child would know that Catnap adores the prototype and worships him. Ollie also says, Me too. This could be hinting at all the other bigger body smiling critters that died after the hour of joy. They were probably all his friends because they were all, you know, part of the bigger body smiling critter group. And that's probably why we never see him and he only calls via phone because deep down he's still scared and traumatized from what happened and doesn't want to risk showing his face and the prototype catching him or catnap. All, remember, Poppy is the one that sent for us to come back to the factory. Poppy was like, hey, Ollie, I'm gonna bring back this old factory worker to help us. So that's probably why he memorized all the power cords and the gas production zone and everything because they were waiting for us to come here so we could do what Bobby was too scared to do. So you're probably asking, if this is Bobby Bearhug, why do they call themselves Ollie? Well, this could be that they made it up to hide who they truly are because they don't completely trust us probably because of, you know, because they were turned into a toy. And so they probably don't trust us as much. They're probably scared of us a little bit still. That's why Poppy also calls 
Bobby Ollie, as she wants to hide, which truly is for Bobby's sake. And that's what people have said, you know, the voice line after we beat Catnap. I don't sound pretty happy. People think that Ollie is the prototype because, you know, prototype can mimic voices. I don't think that's it. Like I said, he was scared to show his face around Playcare because of Catnap, but also because of the prototype. Prototype is still alive. Poppy wants to kill the prototype, and Bobby wants that too. That's why he says, you've made your choice, you have to stay and help Poppy. Because he wants the prototype gone as well. He wants him dead for all the terrible things that have happened. So yeah. I think Ollie could possibly still be Bobby Bearhug, and I'm holding on to this theory until chapter 4 comes out. And praying that this is the last theory, but for now, this has been another Ride or Die theory. Ciao, ciao for now.